Now, at this point, we all know about our favorite pop it on and go style, the headband wig. But I'm about to show you guys how to take it up a notch and rock it like it's your own hair. So, Okay, so I'm going to start off by moisturizing my hair in sections because while I cut my hair into a bob, it is still thick. And I go to the gym a lot, so my roots shrivel up a lot. So I have to keep them moisturized because, you know, salt and everything, sweat makes your hair dry so i've been trying to keep up with that so i definitely like to make sure that my hair is taken care of underneath my wigs you can't just neglect your real hair under the wigs gotta still put in that work so that way you get the benefits of wearing wigs in the first place so you can give your hair you know that protective style and help it grow i am braiding up the back because my hair is a little bit damp and i just don't want it to um shrivel up together you know and tangle up and all that so i'm bringing the back down and that's basically why and then with the top i'm moisturizing again getting into my roots uh specifically getting into the roots and just going in sections because the top of my head is actually like the the thickest part even though it's all super thick and then i have a wet brush that i'm using i'll link it below and i like that because i can brush my hair when my hair is still damp and not have to worry about taking a ton of hair out which is awesome so then i'm moving into using some gel um while my hair is still damp because you know gel works well when your hair is a little damp so i like doing that if i really want like a sleek you know look with my headband wigs and then i'm just brushing the gel through tying my hair up and then the foundation is laid now, I mean, I guess technically you don't need a wig cap, but I highly suggest it even when wearing headband wigs and half wigs because you don't want the way the wig is made like snatching against your hair and you just, you know, causing breakage, anything like that. So it's better to keep your hair protected with a wig cap. I'm working on my edges now. Um, you can do your edges however you want, or you can wear them with your, you know, edges covered, however you like to wear your headband wig. But this is usually how I do mine, just something slight. I'm not a huge, I don't really have a lot of baby hair, so I don't do a whole lot with that. But I do like to, you know, just make them look nice, a little extra something, something there. The best thing about headband wigs to me is, yes, I love how you can pop it on and go for like running errands or just... Uh, going out or just anything really like you can just throw it on and it's done I love that about it but I really love how I can now go to the gym and have my hair be cute because you know like if you wear a lot of wigs like myself you end up going to the gym and like your wig braids or a scarf and it's just like eh. even if you tie down like a wig that's not made to be like that and you try to put a scarf over it like it's not the same I'm loving these headband wigs for that reason personally because now i can go to the gym and i can still be cute you know so here is our headband shout out to curly me hair for sending this to me it is their kinky curly unit in 22 inches the inside of the cap you can see here and everything so trying it on i feel like you know it's a really good fit it's very comfortable to me I do wear like the 22 size standard wig caps most of the time. 23 if I'm really trying to get it over my edges. But as far as fit, 22. And um, But what I did notice and I wanted to make sure I let y'all know is that those straps are very, very big. Like it's super wide. Like it was hard for me to secure the Velcro on the back at a position that worked for my size head. Like it's, it's loose and it's hanging off. So... Beware of that it is a little bit, you know, just loose, but you can pin it. It's not a huge deal. It is a comfortable fitting wig. So for me, obviously it comes pretty defined, but y'all know I like medium big hair and all of that. So I started to finger comb through the hair. This hair is amazingly soft and super like natural feeling. Like I'm really loving this hair. It's very, it's just really quality feeling. Like I'm, I like it a lot. I've been wearing it actually for a few days now and i really like it i wore it to the gym i've worn it out to you know eat with friends like it's just super cute and it looks super natural like it goes with my edges very well also it is 180 percent density so it's full but it's tameable i like to sometimes just take the band that's already attached to the wig and fold it back and you just use that as a black headband wig for something plain, but it does come with a few headband wigs with the order, the sparkly ones, you know, the regular cloth ones as well. But I also wanted to switch it 
up. So I'm going to take my headband wig and basically use it as a half wig today. I know like headband wigs can get so mundane of just, okay, I'm throwing on my headband wig, throw a headband on it, and here we go. And it's like, how much can we really say? So I'm trying to be more creative with it. And so I was like, let's see if I can really like treat this like a half wig, especially since it's a kinky curly textured hair. Even though I am text lax and my hair is still a little damp, that's why my hair looks a little bit different and, uh, than the texture of the kinky curly because I'm not exactly kinky curly. But I think we can make some shake. So I was like, let me try and see what we can do of just blending the hair. I know a lot of times when we blend the hair, it's usually like a half up, half down type of thing. But I was like, let me see if I can just blend it and just make it look like, you know, just free hair. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that besides like just, you know, just hair out. If you have kinky curly hair like the wig, it'll obviously be easy for you to kind of just blend it in and call it a day. I'm just working on basically playing around with it and seeing how I can make it blend. For me, having Texlax hair, I found it was easier to just kind of uh, one, blend. You know, you obviously don't want your wig track showing, but two, brushing out the hair that was near my actual hair that helped it to blend a little bit better by making that texture less defined because my hair isn't defined so in playing around with it i took a little more edge control to help me slick my hair that's left out a little bit more than what it is at the moment so i just took some edge control and then i brushed it back into the hair you know how we used to do with our weaves and things where we slick our leave out and then just kind of tuck it under the weave or the wig that we were wearing yeah that's basically what i'm doing Also, I should have mentioned this earlier, but make sure you secure this in with some bobby pins. As many bobby pins as you need to make it feel secure for you. Because if you don't, your wig going to slide off. Because when you tuck the band under, when you're kind of doing it as a half wig, it blocks the cones from being able to be tucked into your hair. So, you know, you don't have to secure that with a lot of bobby pins or your wig going to fly off. <laughs> So after I figured out how I wanted the wig to lay and everything, I just tied my silk scarf around my edges and I just let that sit until it was dry. So for me, I really let it sit for about an hour, but you could probably do about 20, 30 minutes or so. It just depends on how your edges dry and everything. However you do usually lay your edges, just do that. I'm really glad I laid my edges because that gave me some waves at my roots, which helped my hair to blend in even more with the kinky curly style. So now I'm just doing some touch up work and this is the final result. It's just another cool way to wear your headband wig. If you want to switch it up, you don't 